They'll say, well, Kamala, Vice President Harris, what is your plan to lower the inflation caused by your policies? And she'll say, well, I grew up in a middle class family. I believe in small business. <laughs> and everybody's, everybody with an ounce of common sense is saying, well, you didn't answer the question. Or, Kamala Harris, your policies led to an increase in energy prices, an increase in housing prices. What are you going to do to change that? Give us the specific idea of what you're going to do. And she'll say, well, when I worked at McDonald's, I loved making hash browns. <laughs> And all the American people want, I think, from a person who, who would pretend to lead them is to actually answer some tough questions. Well, according to Matt Gates' new report, Donald Trump is currently facing not one, not two, not three, not four, but five active groups that are trying to take his life. My first question after reading this is, if you know there are five, then why are they not being arrested? Also, in this roundup type video, a new battleground state poll came out that is absolutely devastating for uh, Kamala Harris. And if it holds true, would lead to a landslide Trump victory, at least according to you know the Electoral College. Uh, I still have this deep held belief that he actually has a chance to win the popular vote, but who even knows? You know, like you know, things go burr. All I can do, and I'm not going to get on you about it, but I'll just remind you, the Tailgates for Trump free version cookbook comes out probably tomorrow. So all you have to do is go to tailgatesfortrump.com, sign up to join the movement, then go to your email to confirm it, and you'll get our fun meme cookbook, which I think has 25 recipes in it, uh, which is great. And then we're going to have a special edition that has 15 more recipes that I personally signed a number um, just to try to raise some funds uh, so that we can advertise the site a little bit more. But, uh, you know, we can afford to maybe get people stickers who can't afford them and, and things of that nature. But let's start with the let's start with the Matt Gates information, I suppose, uh, because that's the most concerning. Representative Representative Matt Gates claims there are five known assassination teams in the United States. Matt Gates said during an appearance on Breitbart News Daily that there are currently five known teams in the United States, three of which are foreign, who are out to end the life of Donald Trump. Tragic avoidable, Gates said when he asked for his thoughts on the second attempt against former President Trump. I'm starting to get the impression that we do not have enough force protection of supporting Trump or that we ought to give Given the threat environment, he said, noting that he recently met with senior officials of the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, who said there were at least five known teams in the United States, three of which are foreign, who are out to end Trump's life. Well, I don't know about you, and I don't know, you know if this would be exactly legal. I'm no expert, but I would have no problem with rounding these people up, at least. I mean, I think that's pretty reasonable. Quote, and with that type of activity... I don't think we should be allowing people to set up for an extended period of time and wait to take their shots outside of a golf property or his other properties, Gates said, expressing concern that the second suspect, Ryan Ralph, was previously known to officials encountered at the border upon his return from the country of Ukraine. And the Customs and Border Control thought his story was so suspicious that he was recruiting for freedom fighters all over the world to go to Ukraine and that they asked him how he was financing it. And he said, oh, well, my wife is paying for it. And that seemed odd, so the CBP officials referred Ryan Roth to the Department of Homeland Security's investigation unit to determine what was going on, and they declined to even proceed with an investigation. I wonder why. You know, a lot of times you have, like, these whack jobs out there um, uh, that, you know, they're just like, well, we're just going to turn the other way, and mm, whatever happens, happens, I suppose. Mike Slater, pre, uh, host Mike Slater, pressed Gates on the claim of five different teams existing in the country. And Gates reiterated that they are aware of at least five teams in the country that are gearing up towards ending Trump's life. And you think we know three of them we know are foreign in nature. Two of them we know are domestic in nature and calls for force protection that we do not have around the force of the former president right now. I believe they have upped his level of protection to like presidential level, um, you know, I, I would get, I would assume. Um, when we asked how it would even be possible to have these teams walking around, Gates said simply, 
insufficient scrutiny to stop them from doing so. Three of these teams, foreign inspired from my understanding, Iranians, Ukraine, and Pakistan. And you know, the work is obviously challenging to protect, protective detail like a presidential campaign that is vigorous and out there campaigning. Given that threat, Gates said that they are investigating to see if they have the right to protective detail, such as the correct sniper teams and the correct tactical teams. Uh, I think we saw that at the uh, rally yesterday um, as you know, Trump kind of drops several bombshells um, yesterday during his uh, speech saying Iranian hackers tried but failed to interest the Biden campaign in stolen Trump info. So they had, remember back when allegedly Trump was hacked by the Mo Iranians or whatever the case was, okay? Um, well, they tried to sell that information to the Biden administration. I guess that's how they got caught. I'm not sure there's a lot going on w inside the Trump campaign that is worth hacking. I I'm just saying like he's pretty much an, o an open book, um, but they did try to sell it to Joe Biden apparently. That did not go well. Uh, but then last night, he talks about, obviously, no tax on tips, no tax on overtime, which is on my brand new Tailgates for Trump stickers. Uh, so the next batch will have that. Um, he says, together, we'll lower tax rates, low regulations, low energy costs, low rate uh, interest rates, low inflation. Um, he then drops these little nuggets on Kamala Harris. Unbelievable. During her period of three and a half years, she was in charge of the border. She lost more than 325,000 migrant children, many of whom have been trafficked, raped, and many of whom are dead. Many of whom are dead. Three, think of what that is. That's like Yankee Stadium filled up many, many times. Think of it. Think of it. As California Attorney General, she redefined unbelievable. Then he goes, uh, agents, confirming agencies of Kamala Harris and Joe Biden administration released a report confirming that Iranian, this is another bombshell. And just today, three agencies of the Kamala Harris and Joe Biden administration, the FBI, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence and Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, they just released a report confirming that Iran actors hacked into the Trump campaign's email accounts and in turn sought to give the hacked materials to the biden harris campaign they gave them all of the materials because biden is working with iran and iran doesn't exactly like me because they were ready to make a deal except we had an election that was rigged and stolen and look at what's happening to trump was just back in rare form last night look at this too i mean just a clip of him uh going down what Kamala Harris is actually running on. Kamala Harris is for wide open borders with terrorists and criminals pouring into our country, more inflation, even higher than the last four years, which was a record. She wants to pack the Supreme Court. Think of that one. And today I heard it all. I thought they wanted maybe 11 Maybe they wanted 13, that's an unlucky number, so maybe it would be 15 instead of nine. But instead of nine, Kamala wants to bring up potentially as many as 25 justices so that they can rig the system like they rig everything else, including elections. And maybe one of the worst things of all, she is a true believer. And again, I said this before, if you wanted to fund the police, if you've been there even for a day, in your mind, you wanted to fund the police even for one day. You are not qualified to be the president of the United States. It's too great. And you know what? If we don't win this election, it's very possible we'll never have another chance. We have to do it. You have to get out. You have to vote. But Kamala vowed to abolish ICE. She supports free health care for illegal aliens. How about that one? You don't get free health care. Just like... Boom, boom, just dry. Just, I mean, he also goes on to talk about banning fracking, 80% tax rate, communist price controls. I mean, almost everything that he says is true and people in the comments are like, Meh, that's a lie. They're melting down because Kamala 
has been hiding uh, and she's been uh, doing gr- a great job at it. Trump has been, I think, has done 50 or 60 rallies and interviews. Kamala Harris has done zero. I think I've checked that two interviews, one with CNN and one with some random person from ABC. She has done zero press conferences where Donald Trump has probably done a half dozen or more. Uh, he was just on fire last night. Um, and this is probably one of my favorite things. And again, it's so true. We can do all of this and more, but patriotic New Yorkers must get your asses out to vote. Yeah. <laughs> get a gallon. Harry, get up, Harry. Harry, get your fat ass out of the couch. <laughs> You're going to vote for Trump today, Harry. Get <laughs> up, Harry. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Harry. He's right. That's why I started Tailgates for Trump. He's a thousand percent right. We have to, people have to vote. Vote early. One of the resources on Tailgates for Trump, by the way, if you go to resources, is a very handy link uh, right to the early voting calendar. And you can just look, figure out as soon as you can vote, then go vote in person early in your state. Then spend the next two weeks finding Harry's fat butt and dragging him out to vote. If if everybody who votes for Trump can just get one, and like I know I have some ladies that watch me and there are probably some disaffected women out there too. If you're a lady, this applies to other ladies. Guys, there are, you know, at least one or two dudes that would probably vote for Trump, but is for whatever reason or not, not going to get registered to vote. Not going to go vote, okay? Because he's got other stuff going on. Because his ex-wife is begging on him. Or he's got this or he's got that. Dude, don't let that guy not vote. Help him get registered. You can go to tailgatesfortrump.com. He'll get all the resources he needs right there. Uh, And then take him to go vote. Don't tell him how to vote, right? Take him to go vote. And then take him out for beers after. Or out for dinner. Or go for golfing. Go shoot some darts. Play bowling. Or, you know, go bowling. Whatever it is that you want to do. There are five active teams trying to assassinate Donald Trump right now. Everything is going against him. He needs a ground game like he's never seen before. And we're it. I'm doing it with my tr- tailgates for Trump stickers. And you're going to do it by finding a disaffected or agnostic friend and just take them to early vote. A lot of people are like, ah, I don't want to wait in those lines. There are no lines when you go early in person voting. It's easy. If every one of us gets one or two other people to vote, he wins the election. It's that simple. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, subscribe or follow down below. And we'll talk to you again real soon.